हंदुरवा देन NDBC Digital Youth Account NDB Bank After a thrilling first T20I where Sri Lanka secured a four-run win, the two sides will take on each other in the second T20I on Monday, 18th of February at the modernized Rangiridambulla International Cricket Stadium. Skipper Vanitu Hasaranga delivered some fireworks with the bat after promoting himself up to number 6 in the batting order, registering his first T20I half century as captain while striking at over 200, and unless his counter attack in knock, Sri Lanka would have stole around 100 runs. The rest of the batting unit failed to make any significant contribution against a bowling lineup without Rashid Khan, Bujibu Rahman, and Evert Mohamed Nabi, who wasn't bowled a single over in the first game. After making his T20I debut in Asia Cup 2022, Atisha Patirana just played his second game in the format yesterday after a gap of almost one and a half years. The 21-year-old slinger proved what he can do, turning the match on his head with four scalps when the visitors were on top in the chase before Benoit Fernando held his nerve to win it for the Hots in the final over. Afghanistan though got off to a flyer after an excellent bowling display but lost their way in the middle overs. Skipper Ibrahim Sadran batted till the end while taking the game down to the wire, but his effort wasn't enough to prevent his side from a defeat. Sri Lanka lost wickets at regular intervals despite maintaining a healthy run rate before Hasaranga's arrival. Although after his dismissal, the Hots lost their way completely, losing the last five wickets for only 14 runs. Accordingly, the top order and middle order definitely need to be clicked like they did in the ODI series with the T20 World Cup is on the cards. With the batting depth they have, the Afghans will hope for a much improved batting performance in the next game as far as their middle order are concerned. NDB Neos Theory Risk Kick Fund Transfers Bills Sri Lankan batters set the tone in their clean sweep win in the ODI series against Afghanistan, but not up to the mark in the first T20I. Patan Nisanka, who is on the back of his sensational run of form in ODIs, will need to bring his class to the T20Is as well. Kusal Pereira, who was not included in the first game, played for MI Emirates in the ILT20 final on the same night, might have to wait for his turn to come back into the playing 11. It's hard to see the visitors making any changes in the 11 as they will most probably go with the same combination which they had in the first match. The series opener marked the first ever men's T20I at the Rangiridambulla International Stadium and after the renovation of the stadium, the pitch was quite dry with very thin glades of grass. But it looked like a good batting surface with some movement under lights and good for his spinners later on. Sri Lanka will be looking to see the series, while Afghanistan will want to bounce back as we can expect another cracking contest with another packed crowd. Hey, have you heard about Z? Z Z. We K Y C. Easy. Mobile banking. Crazy. Education loans and salary advances. Amazing. Amazing. Introducing the digital youth account. NDBZ. NDBZ from NDB Bank. The future is banking on us.